Hi, boys and girls. Today's project, we are going to be making some alphabet soup. And for this project, you're going to need some crayons, markers, water with a paintbrush, and maybe some things that you can trace. Uh, we're going to start by drawing the bowl of soup. And we're going to have a bowl of soup. We're also going to have a napkin and a spoon. We want to put our bowl of soup on all the way over on one side of the page. I'm going to trace this circle tracer that I have in the art room, but you could use a paper plate or even a real plate or anything in your house that's shaped like a circle to trace a nice neat circle on your page. I'm going to trace my circle with a pencil, but I'm going to go over it with a Sharpie. And if you don't have a Sharpie, you could use a black crayon. Now, on the other side of my paper, we're going to be making our napkin and our soup spoon. So, you could trace something that's shaped like a rectangle, even a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard, or we can draw it in on our own. <clears throat> now, inside of my large circle, I want to draw a slightly smaller circle, just a little bit smaller. Now, this will be the edge of my bowl. So our bowl has a little bit of an edge here and the soup will just be inside of my smaller circle. That's why I don't wanna make it too small. Now on the right side of my page or the opposite side of my page, I'm gonna draw a rectangle and I don't want my, my soup bowl and my, my rectangle to touch. So I'm gonna make sure when I draw the first line of my rectangle, it's got a little space between it and my soup bowl. And again, you can trace this rectangle if you have something in your house, like even an envelope might work really well for this. Then I'm going to draw my two horizontal lines and my last vertical line here to make my rectangle. Next, I'm going to draw my spoon. And at the top of my rectangle, I'm going to draw a shape that's kind of like an oval, but I'm going to leave the bottom open. So I didn't finish the bottom. And then I'm gonna make these lines come really close together because I want the top of my spoon to be kind of skinny. So I'm gonna draw two vertical lines that come about halfway down my rectangle that stay pretty close together. Now, when I get closer to the bottom, I'm gonna make the lines come out a little further away from each other. So as I come down, I'm gonna kind of move it diagonally towards the edge. And then at the bottom here, I'm gonna make kind of a round curved line that connects. And there's my spoon. That's all I knew I showed you for today. We are gonna move on to crayons next. So inside my small circle, that's where my soup will be. And so we're, since we're making alphabet soup, I'm gonna write lots of letters inside. Now it might be fun for you to spell out your name or to spell out words you know how to write, you could practice capital letters and lowercase letters. You could even put some numbers in there. So I'm when I'm drawing, I am pushing as hard as I can because I want the colors to be really bright and I want my crayon to be really waxy. Crayons are made out of wax, and so we want to push really hard. It might even help to go over your letters two or three times to make them extra dark. All right, I think I've got lots of letters in here. Now I'm going to try to fill in kind of the empty white spaces between. I'm going to make it my, I want my soup to be full of letters, full of the alphabet. You could even try to get the whole alphabet in there.
All right, now that I've filled up this space on the inside of my small circle, I'm going to work a little bit on my spoon. My spoon is going to be made of crayon too. Now, for my spoon, I want to have a white crayon and a gray crayon. So I want to make it look shiny. So what I'm going to do first is take my white crayon and I'm going to put some shine marks on my soup, on my soup spoon. So I'm going to color really dark with my white crayon and kind of along one side of my, of my oval shape here, I'm going to put some big white lines and dots. And then I'm going to also add some, some little lines and dots down my soup handle. And then I'm going to take my gray crayon and just lightly, lightly fill in the rest. And when I fill this in lightly, my white crayon should show through because I'm not pushing down hard. So you can see there's my white crayon where I drew those white lines. I'm just going really lightly over it. Now, on the, see how I put all my white lines and dots on this side of my spoon. Now I'm going to take my gray crayon and on the other side of my spoon, I'm going to push down and make dark lines and dots. Those will be my shadows. Now my spoon looks really shiny, like a real metal spoon. My next job is to color in between these two circles, whatever color you want your bowl to be. You could color it white. Uh, you could color any color because we are going to add some color to the background. I think I'll make my bowl. Mm, I think I will make my bowl white. So I'm just going to take my white crayon, but you could use any color. You could use your favorite color. And I'm going to color in between. Now, right now it seems silly that I would be coloring my white piece of paper with a white crayon but we're going to add some color to the background and this will make more sense once we do that. This is just going to help our background color not get onto our bowl. All right. Now I'm ready to work. I've colored in between my circles all the way around. I'm ready to work on my background. We're going to make a tablecloth. We're going to make it with plaid, a little pattern that you see on a lot of tablecloths. And for this part, I'm going to need markers and I'll want at least two colors. And I'm going to make horizontal lines that go across the page and vertical lines that go up and down the page. But I'm not going to draw my lines over my circle or my rectangle. So when I draw my horizontal lines, I'm going to go all the way across. But when I draw my line, if it touches the bowl or the rectangle, I'm going to stop, pick my marker up, go around, and then finish the line. Stop, pick my marker up, go around, finish the line. I'm putting my lines pretty close together. I'm trying to keep them pretty straight. All right, now I'm ready to do my vertical lines. So when you're doing vertical lines, I'm going to switch colors. I'm going to use a different color here, and I'm going to draw my lines going straight up and down. And again, wherever my bowl or my spoon, I mean my rectangle, my circle my rectangle is, I want to go around those. My markers kind of dried out here. 
But that should be okay because I'm going to go over it with water. All right. Now, before I go over my background with water, I'm going to add a couple more things. I want to add a shadow all around my bowl and my napkin so it looks like it's really sitting on a real table. And to do that, I've got to use a gray crayon again. If you don't have a gray crayon, you could use a light or you can use a black crayon, but kind of really, really lightly. So I don't want to go all the way around my bowl. I'm going to start kind of like here in the middle on the side of the bowl. And I'm going to color on the outside of the circle. At first, kind of a dark gray line. And I'm going to make this sort of like a crescent moon shape. I'm going to only go halfway around the bowl. So when I get to the other side, I'm going to stop. Now, I'm going to go back over that. And I'm going to come a little further out, but I'm going to color more lightly. A lighter gray. So I'm not pushing as hard. I'm going to do it one more time. Super light. As barely, barely, barely touching the page. As light as I can get it. I'm going to do that exact same technique on my napkin, but only on two sides. So I'm going to go down one side of my napkin, and I'm on the outside of my napkin. So I'm coloring over the background space. And across the bottom with my dark gray line. And I'm going to stop. I'm going to go back and add a medium gray, kind of a lighter gray outside that. One more time with my lightest gray, barely, barely, barely touching. Wow, that looks really 3D. All right, one more thing to add. I want my soup to be a different color than my bowl. So for this part, I'm going to use markers. And I can use any color marker, but I'm going to pick a color that might actually see my soup. So I'm going to use kind of a yellow to make it look like noodles. And I'm going to draw squiggly, wiggly lines. And these can be wavy lines, spiral lines, curvy lines, but all squiggly. And I'm going to draw them, you know, kind of all around my letters. And it's okay if your marker lines go over your letters, because remember, we drew those really dark. So when we add the marker, it won't cover up. Now, even though I'm drawing squiggly lines, I'm trying not to scribble. I still want to control my lines because you still will see them a little bit. Now I'm ready to add my water. Now I'm going to do my background first. So I'm going to take a small paintbrush. If you don't have a paintbrush, you could use a Q-tip. Um, and I'm going to just trace a line over my horizontal lines. I'm not going back and forth. I'm not spreading it out. I'm just making one swipe with my paintbrush just tracing over those lines. It's gonna blend my marker a little, but not a lot. And luckily I colored my bowl white, so I don't think that my marker will get on my bowl if I accidentally go over a little bit. So that's handy. And your bowl might be a different color. Every once in a while I have to stop and get more water. My brush starts to get a little dry. Just tracing over these lines. I have to be careful on my napkin. I don't want to get marker on my napkin. All right, now I'm ready to do my vertical lines. So I'm going to repeat that same process, but this time I'm pulling the lines down. And those two colors are going to blend a little bit, and that's okay. That's what we want. Oh, hey, that's looking pretty cool. Now, the last step is to blend the marker in my alphabet soup. So I'm going to take, again, my paintbrush. And this time, I'm just going to blend that marker all over. So from, from the edge of the small circle inside that whole round shape. And I can blend right over my letters because I drew those with crayon. That marker, that water is not going to cover those. It's 
going to resist. And now our alphabet soup is complete. I cannot wait to see the soup you made today.